What do narcissists do when they can't control you anymore? There is a point in the relationship where you begin to set boundaries. You begin to set standards. You begin to expect more. And when this happens, the narcissist realizes that they're losing control of your thoughts and emotions. They become less efficient and less able to deal with things. They become very angry. They start to bully you even more. There's more arguments. Because they're trying to overcome you by persistence. They're trying to make you weaker and less determined until you eventually submit to them so that they can gain control over you. And this is what often happens. Victims abandon their boundaries and standards. They stop trying to defend themselves and they go back to walking on eggshells around the narcissist. They go back to being very careful not to offend or upset them. They go back to being very careful about what they say or do because they just want peace. And whenever you try to escape from the narcissist's control, the narcissist tries to break you down. They try to make you feel even more less of yourself because they need you to feel weak and confused. They need you to be angry or upset at all times because that takes away your will to fight. It puts you at your lowest and it puts them above you. Unless you decide to go no contact because if you do that, they will be unable to get to you. They will lose all control because you've disappeared. You're nowhere to be found. When the narcissist can't control you anymore, they will try to ruin your reputation. They will assassinate your character. They will smear your name. They will discredit you. They will try to make you look crazy. And they will do this by playing the victim, by blaming you for everything. They will say that everything was your fault. You're bad. You did horrible things to them. So that they can gain sympathy and support. So that other people will feel bad for them and try to help them. When the narcissist loses control of you, the smear campaign is something that you should expect to see. It is one of the main processes of a narcissist. It's something they use widely and often. When something goes wrong, the narcissist will always play the victim. They will always blame the other person. They will say that you have all of these issues. You're insane. They will say that you acted unjustly or dishonestly towards them so that they can gain sympathy and support. So that they can gain narcissistic supply. They may also hold on to you for dear life. 
They may attach themselves to you. They may try to show you that they're still in charge. They're still in control. They're still in the driving seat. So they will act out. They will behave badly. In a way of showing you that you can't leave them. They're still in charge and they can do things that you can't control. Because they have control and you don't. Which is very childish and immature behavior. But this is how narcissists think and behave. They will stalk and harass you. They will show up at your home. They will show up at your job. They will stalk you on social media. They might make fake accounts. Or they will get one of their flying monkeys to spy on you. To show you that you are not done. It's not over yet. You are done when they're done with you. Because they're the ones who have the power and control. They're the top dog. They're in a position of authority. And you can't control them. But this behavior should only reveal to you that they're slowly deteriorating mentally from no longer being able to be a factor in your life. They're no longer able to control you. Because what kind of person spends their time stalking people on social media? It's very strange behavior, but it's something that they will do because they're losing control. They don't know what to do. They're trying to recover from their narcissistic injury, which you have caused by rejecting them. But eventually, some of them will take the hint. They will give up. And they will focus on other supply. But that doesn't mean that they will stop talking about you. They may still continue with their smear campaign, even while there was someone else. Because they have to let everyone know that you acted unjustly and dishonestly towards them, so that they can be the victim. But sometimes, they will come back. They will hoover you. Especially if they have been rejected by their new supply. They won't target someone else. Because they're very insecure. They lose confidence after a breakup. So instead, they will try to return to an ex. It's much easier for them to return to someone who knows them. Someone who they believe still likes them and will talk to them. So they may come back and tell you that they still love you. They still miss you. They made a big mistake. Or they may play the victim as though you did something wrong. Or they will act like they're experiencing a time of intense difficulty or danger. Because they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to get you to respond. Because they want everything to go their way. They want control. So they will say that something is wrong. And they need you to fix it. They need your help. They can't do it without you. When the narcissist can't control you anymore, they will get very angry. They will bully you. They will smear your name. 
But if you decide to leave, there isn't much they can do about that. They will try to attach themselves to you. They will try to become overly dependent on you for something. They will hold on to you for dear life. But if you keep moving, eventually they will give up and let go. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.